Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to MathMode. In this video we are going to solve this interesting equation with factorials. We have 10 factorials over 6 factorials equal to x factorials. How can you solve it? Let's simplify our left side. So as you can see we have 10 factorials. We all know that 10 factorials, this is a product from 10 to 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1. This is our nominator, 10 factorial. And we divide in this nominator by 6 factorial. 6 factorial 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1. As you can see we have a same product in our nominator and in our denominator because in our nominator we will have this product and this product will be the same so we can easily cancel it. So as a result as you can see we have this interesting product. We have 10 times 9 times 8 and times 7. This is equal to x factorial. But what is will be equal our x because this is not like a common common factorial this is not like a factorial that we know because we have like four numbers uh, we multiply in just four numbers so i suggest you to simplify this a little bit let's factor this this 10 for example this 10 can be written in a simple way so 1 times 2 and times 5. this 9 can be written as 3 times 3 this 8 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 and 7 of course we'll add this because we cannot like factor it this is a prime number so let's write all of this element in like a natural or in a natural order so we'll have we'll have 1 times 2 times 5 i write it 1 times 2 times 5 next multiplying by 3 by 3 by 3 by 3 next 2 2 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and times 7 in the end so let's think closely about all of this, about all of this order. Let's try to create like an order that we need to, to find our factorial. So right here we have one. So let's write it one. Right here as well we have two. So I just write root two. Next, next we have three times three. Will we have four? Of course we will have four. If we multiply this two times two, we will have four. So times four. Will we have five? Of course, right here we will have five times five. Right here we will have 3 times 2 will be our 6, so as you can see right here. And the last 7 in the end, so times 7. So I hope you see right now that this is a really good answer because this is our 7 factorial. And let's plug in all of this in our equation. We will have that 7 factorial equal to 7, or equal to x, sorry, x factorial. And from here x equal to, equal to 7. Really interesting equation. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoyed, put your thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And of course, write your question if you still have any question about it. And thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos.